guys, welcome back to my channel Style with Sandy. Today's video is going to be really interesting because this is about a topic that every girl wants a detailed clarification before they do this to their skin. It's all about face shaving girls. So talking about face shaving, there are a lot of myths regarding this. Uh, many people say that face shaving makes your skin um, harder, it makes your hair grow thicker and it makes you get pimples, uh, it makes your face redden and so and so. People mostly say the cons of face shaving. But really, there is nothing like that. That's why I wanted to do a detailed video regarding this. Uh, I have also uploaded a face shaving video when uh, long back when I started my channel. Uh, but I wanted to do an updated video regarding this because over time I have learned a lot of new things uh, regarding this face shaving. Uh, face shaving is really a good thing but there are certain things that you must follow before shaving your face and after shaving your face so that you will not ruin your skin. Long back when I was shaving my face, I used to just wash my face and then put the razor on. Uh, then I washed my face again and I put my moisturizer on. But what I felt is that my skin felt really dry when I do my face shaving like that. So over the time, uh, to avoid the dryness, I just applied a few techniques for myself uh, before shaving the face. So that is what I want you all to know before you do before you start face shaving. And you can shave your face, girls. There is nothing in that. If you are going to shave your face, you are going to get maximum benefits out of that. So first thing, what I want to tell you is when you shave your face, you get rid of the dead skin cells. You get rid of the peach fuzz that is on the layer of your skin. Main advantage of face shaving is, so every day we used to do skincare routine. The main thing of skincare routine is uh, we want to make our skin to look better. We want to get rid of the pigmentation. We get rid of the uh, blackheads and whiteheads and so on. So, so for every people, there are some skin concerns and we do skincare routine according to that. Right? Okay, fine. So about the products you apply on your face? If your face has the hair and peach fuzz, what happens is the product what you apply is not going to go into your skin. It is just going to sit on the top layer of the skin. That skin cells and peach fuzz is going to have all those products and it's not going to go into your skin but when you uh, shave your face what happens is you get rid of all the dead skin cells and hair that is hair and peach fuzz so now there is nothing on your skin and your product you apply on your face is gonna glide smoothly also it is going to penetrate uh, more deeper into your skin and it's going to work so now I'm going to straightly take you into the process and explain what I'm doing first important step is to cleanse your skin use a very good face wash and the one i have used is from face shop the rice water bright foaming cleanser and then do a little bit of physical exfoliation and i have used a scrub from kama ayurveda this is the one that suits me well so these two steps ensure that your skin is super clean and it's ready for shaving after cleansing and exfoliating using a toner ensures that your pores are super clean Now my face is all prepped for shaving. I'm using a razor from the brand Bronson. I'll be linking the product in the description box so do check it out. And this blade doesn't look like the regular tinkle one. The blade is really sharp. So if you don't have any prior experience in face shaving, don't go for this blade. This is super sharp and you can end up cutting your skin. And hold the blade close to your face and not perpendicular to your face. Stretch your skin nicely before you start to shave. Stretching your skin really ensures that the razor glides smoothly on the surface of the skin. Now the one important thing that I have done before putting the razor on my face is I have slightly dampened my skin using the rose water. So many people use some facial oil or use a moisturizer or aloe vera gel or some facial, I mean sorry, some shaving gel before shaving their face. But I prefer to just slightly dampen my face and this ensures that my face is moist but it's not too much moisturized. So what I personally felt about too much moisturization of face before shaving is uh, the hair is still in the face. It's not giving a very good clean shave. Instead, you can see the hair still sticking in the face. But I personally didn't like that. I want a very good clean shave. I want all the dead skin cells to come off. I want all the peach fuzz to come off. However, the razor glides on very smoothly. It's not giving any cuts. But the very important thing is we need all the hair to come off and give a very good clean and neat canvas to our skin. But that's not happening. So that's why I switched to this technique and I really felt this really uh, make my skin feel a bit moisturized and at the same time I could get a very good clean shape. 
I'm on the combination side and I have a little bit of sensitive skin and this technique really worked for me but if you are a very dry skin person I personally would love to tell you that use a facial oil and there is no other way as if you're not going to use any facial oil or moisturizer your skin is going to really have some cuts but combination skin people and normal skin people can really follow this technique of mine so while doing this technique if i feel at one point of time that my skin is feeling dry i again go for the damp cotton pad and i just put that on the particular area of my skin and then i start to shave back Can you just see how the peach first, the dead skin cells and the hair that comes off the skin? Also, I am not feeling dry point like I do before. And when coming to this part of your face, you have to be really careful as this is the sensitive part of your face. Most of us feel uh, the skin gets irritated or you get red bumps there. So you have to be really careful while putting the razor there and work in small sections on your skin just stretch it and put very light pressure on your skin you have you don't have to really press the razor on your skin because that will give you cuts and never shave against the direction of the hair growth this leads to ingrown hair problem which will be really painful so never do that always shave on the direction of your hair growth now one side of my face is done and i'm going to the other side i'm doing the same thing and for beginners, I personally recommend to use only tinkle razor because um, that is not really sharp and have very sharp blade like the Bronson one has. Since I am quite experienced with face shaving, I found this blade uh, to be comfortable for me. But if you are a beginner, always use tinkle razor, please. After finishing your shaving part, just sanitize your razors. Uh, otherwise, you have to just dispose it because if you're not going to sanitize, the blade will have all the dirt from your skin and when you when you use the same blade for the next time all the dirt is going to transfer to your skin and you get acne or some skin problems so if you're not going to sanitize it please throw the blades away and i want to tell you that please dispose the blade after two uses because the blade will lose its sharpness and when you're going to use it for the third time or the fourth time you have to be really going over and over again in the same area to remove the hair and this is not at all good for your skin so just use a razor for two times and then get a new one And while removing the chin and upper lip hair, try to stretch as much as possible because these are the areas where the blade easily cuts the skin. So just try to stretch it. Now my face is super clean. I'm gonna go off the camera and quickly do my eyebrows and come back. So once everything is done, I'm going to go back to the same toner that I used before. This is to ensure that my pores are clean and to wipe away any dead skin cells that is left behind. Also, this is a non-alcoholic toner and so this will not create any burning sensation to my face. <laughs> Further to calm and cool my skin, I'm using the Nature Tattoo Rose Water and I have refrigerated this so while spraying this on my face now, it's going to give a very cooling sensation. Now comes the last and yet an important step in this face shaving routine that is moisturizing your face. So now your skin is very fresh and you have to really protect the skin's barrier. So use a non-alcoholic moisturizer and then finish it off. I usually prefer shaving my face at the night time because that's where your skin is going to rest for next 8 hours. You are not going to wash, you are not going to use any products but your skin can take its complete time to repair. And now you can visibly see that my skin is free from hair, dead skin cells and peach fuzz and my skin is looking much better now. 
there will be some redness in the skin it is because the fresh skin is exposed now but it will calm down right after a day or two so it's nothing to worry about So my dear friends, I feel that this video regarding face shaving will really be useful for you. Do share it with your friends if you like this video and don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new here, please do visit my channel and watch my videos. If you find it useful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends. Your support means a lot to me, my dear friends. So very soon, I will be meeting you all in my next interesting video. So until then, stay safe and take care. Bye.